job. It's frustrating when I think back to how hard Talia worked just to do simple things like walk or dance or throw a ball. Those milestones that should have been the beginning of great things turned out to be the peak of her physical abilities. Almost a decade later, Talia Duff, now 13, relies on assistance for her physical needs. She is one of only 30 people in the world known to have her particular gene mutation of Charcot-Marie Tooth. It is destroying her muscle function. Talia's gone from walking to walker to wheelchair in just a few years. Jocelyn and John Duff say the odyssey to diagnosis was difficult, complicated, because Talia was born with Down syndrome, an unrelated condition. It was late in 2015. She had tested positive for uh, a mutation in one of her genes, CMT4J or Charcot-Marie Tooth type 4J. Finally, an answer, but one demoralizing to hear. And I think we had gone for so long with the possibility of a treatable disease. I think that was the most devastating thing to be handed this diagnosis with no hope. That had no treatments, no cures, and as far as I could tell, no one was working on anything either. Rather than accept Talia's fate quietly, the Duffs decided to create their own beacon of hope. So I started to look into who knew the gene, who knew that better than anyone else in the world. And in a conversation with one of those researchers, they found it. Actually found someone who said, I think maybe there is a cure and it's, it could possibly lie in gene therapy. So to hear someone say that there might actually be a pathway or possibly even a cure. We said, well, how long is it going to take to see it? And he said, it will be a decade or more. And I said, well, you know, Talia doesn't have that kind of time. Nobody knows better than a parent or a patient how important it is to get there quickly. Gene therapy is expensive, very expensive. To bring a drug to market can cost a biotech firm hundreds of millions of dollars. We kept hoping for that, that big donor who would sort of see the, um, the future of gene therapy or who would take up this cause. But the Duffs had something money couldn't buy, passion and purpose. It really has been grassroots the whole way. Family, friends, the Ipswich community came together to raise an initial $30,000. Seemed like a lot of money then. From bake sales to cookie jars. But the biggest break came from the smallest of donors, Talia's classmates, her school creating this video. It went viral and within months... Over one million dollars. <laughs> And that opened the doors to possibility. The family found a new beginning at Jackson Labs in Bar Harbor, Maine. Dr. Kat Lutz creating a blueprint for a possible treatment that has the potential to go beyond just Talia's needs. The FDA then will look at the data that we generated and they will advise us on the clinical trial design. Not only did we help, you know, Talia and other folks who are immediately living with disease, but we're hoping that in the future generations, we're going to catch it so early and treat it so early that we're not going to have kids who are as affected. Now we're, we're working towards a clinical trial and we're starting a natural history study next month to gather together um, as many CMT4J patients across the world. In two and a half years, this family has moved mountains achieve steps that have taken companies decades to accomplish. At the same time, it feels incredibly fast and furious and glacially slow as you're trying to get to a clinical trial to treat Talia and others. The disease isn't waiting for us to get there. It's continuing its march of progression. And it really does take a village. Community support has helped the Duff family raise $1.3 million, and they'll be heading to Dallas in the next few weeks to start the initial phases of a clinical trial. We should also point out that the Orphan Disease Act was championed by Senator Ted Kennedy back in 1983, and that was designed to incentivize innovation, and that also has helped to bring hundreds of drugs to market. Study one disease, treat many.